The joy of a walk-off. Brian Johnson with Danny Phillips, Hannah Haydell. Colonels are off to an incredible start in the softball season, and they pick up a sweep against Central Arkansas this past weekend. Danny with her second career walk-off with Nichols. You had the sophomore walk-off hit against Corpus Christi. Mm -hmm. This one was a little more fun, yeah. though. If you're, if you're comparing the two, uh, how much more enjoyable was the, the series sweep against Central Arkansas on Sunday? Yeah, the series sweep against UCA was amazing because, I mean, it was really a team effort, and we all came out, and we knew our goal was to sweep UCA. So it was an awesome experience, coming off with two walk-offs for the weekend. so. And it was perfect that the walk-off on Saturday was actually by a player that, that preceded the at-bat for you your sophomore season mm -hmm. against Corpus Christi. Yeah. When you look at, at what Haley Parkinson was able to do and, and that it ties to your sophomore year, she was in, in the circle, was in the batter's box before you had the walk-off against Corpus Christi. Really fitting of how Saturday and Sunday played out. Yeah, um, yeah, because Sunday she came up, she laid the bunt down, set me up perfectly, so it was, it was an awesome experience. <laughs> And you needed that extra run because you were battling to, to go 10 innings, to, to pick up the win, to be named the Southland Conference Pitcher of the Week. Th those are the moments that, that you just love to see your teammates step up for. You did your job, but then to have such a clutch hit, what, what was your first reaction when that ball made its way to center field? A lot of relief. Um, <laughs> it was a long 10 innings, but I think we really battled through and showed our teamwork throughout the whole game and not just one part of it, but the whole time really battled. You have seven seniors. Four of you were part of that initial class that came in four years ago and said, we are the future. We are going to do this together. How, how have this group of seniors stayed so close and, and the resolve that's evident every single game? You guys believe that you're one of the best teams in the conference. Oh, definitely. I think we have a lot of leadership in our upperclassmen as a whole and our underclassmen are growing and learning that same way. So whenever they're in our position, in a couple of years, they all know what to do as well. How important is that? When you look at your freshman class and what the seniors were teaching you about winning, now you've accomplished it, mm -hmm. and, and the freshmen and sophomores understand it can be done here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, especially coming in from, like, where Nickel softball wasn't as good as where they should be, and now seeing us second in conference, it's just like anything can be done when, like, when we set our mind to it. You have this this group of seven seniors, and, and there is no disputing the hierarchy that the seven seniors have, have been through the rigors. You have battled, and, and you're here. You've been a third-team all-conference selection already twice in your career. You had the remarkable freshman season. Sophomore slump happens, and, and it wasn't an awful year, but, but I mention it because you statistically are the best pitcher in the Southland Conference right now. When, when you look at your career arc, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year, what has gone into this emergence as a power pitcher that can't be hit your senior year? I think it's a lot of growth mentally and just getting the experience from freshman year on and just continuing the growth along the way and not giving up even if I did have that slump year. Yeah. Like but really trying to make something out of it. Do you think you would be as elite of a pitcher as you are if you hadn't gone through some of those struggles your sophomore year? Probably not because I was put in a lot of difficult situations during that year and further from it so I think it really paid off in the end for this year to be such a good year. And you're healthy this year. Last year to, to battle with the, the knee injury and the left leg injury that, that's your release point that's your landing leg uh, to, to not even make a big deal out of it last year. I don't know if people really understand what you were fighting through. Uh, how much did your junior season affect how well you've pitched your senior year knowing that you could still be a top tier pitcher fighting through injuries? Definitely like made me tougher. Like I knew my team needed me and I needed to step up so I wasn't going to let that hold me back from doing it. Yeah, nothing has been able to hold you guys back right now. And, and to be engaged in a matchup this mm -hmm. weekend, all business with Nickel Softball, but we have the four best pitchers in the Southland Conference that are going to be battling at McNeese State this weekend. Uh, to be in this moment, what does it actually feel like? Um, <laughs> it's really amazing because um, this is the true test of where, where we need to be and um, playing the number one team in the conference. So... We know that what we have to come out, we have to do, we have to hit well, and our pitchers have to do well, so this is going to be a true test of where we are in our season. To put Nickel State University softball on the map, when you reflect on these four years here, what did it take to get to this point? It took a lot of hard work and mentally growing as a team and getting to know each other and how we play and work well together and know our strengths and weaknesses and where, to, where we can fill in where we need it. You've seen a lot of her over the last four years. How hard is she to hit? 
Jeez, really hard. <laughs> you can ask anyone on our team when we do new eater squads. It's, it, it, it's like, oh god, I gotta hit it against Hannah. Good, okay, like it's it's tough. Yeah. When you have the confidence in your teammates, it makes it pretty easy to go out to the circle against the opposition, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. It's well, definitely not. A lot more comforting knowing that they think I'm hard to hit, so other teams must really think I'm hard to hit. <laughs> Congrats on finally picking up the South and Conference Pitcher yeah. of the Week Award. We were kind of wondering, what, what would it actually take? Perfect games? Like, what do you have to throw to yeah. pick it up? I think we've, a lot of people, like hitting, fielding-wise, and pitching, we've always been getting the honorable mentions, but never really yes. getting those weekly awards, and this week, I think, is the start of a lot of those. A start of, of more success to come. Anna Haydell, Danny Phillips. Well, what a start to the season it's already yeah. been. We're, we're just getting started here, aren't we, ladies? Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> well, we appreciate you giving us a few moments. My name is Bryant Johnson, and this is Colonel's All Access.